everyone. I wanted to take um, a quick few minutes here and do an intro to mark making with you. And this will be a free video that just goes alongside with the paid subscription to my monthly art journaling videos. Okay. And I'm just going to go over some basic mark making info, some materials and tools and kind of things that I have or things that I've gathered while I'm learning. This bucket here, this is my round mark making tools, and I have a lot of round mark making tools because I adore round objects in my work. And round objects are not found in nature, they're man made perfect circles. And so, anytime I find like a perfect little piece or something to use, I save it. And you can see there are like caps, there's a bangle. This right here is a button that I had and I took, I thread some wire through it and gave it a little handle so I can make marks with it. Um, there's an old spice container down there, some measuring cups. This is an egg, a plastic egg from Easter. Um, here's another cap, obviously well used. Here's a jar lid, which is a lot bigger, like the bangle, just a slightly different size. Um, lots of those little lids. I do share my mark makers with art journaling. Here's like a little metal finial or something. Here's a great lid. It has a wide lip on it. So that creates kind of a wide, um, a wide lipped mark when I mark with that. And here's another spice lid. Um, oh, here's a little sponge tip and I've left the paint in it so that the tip is hard and I can make full circles with that, but I can also mark with the back. Other lids like lotion lids and any any type of um, round object that I find. Oh, that's a lint roller. Um, at the All the sticky parts are gone. This is an old spoon handle. And I, I think it would make a great mark along the length of the handle as well as the round portion. Here's a spool, a plastic spool. I ran out of the thread and it's got a nice fat circle along with that are some little wooden ones and um, there's a little plastic container, more lids. I, I save those lids to sprays all the time. That's a marker cap and it's got a great circle, an old, a bead, a wooden bead for macrame. And each circle is has a different diameter and they're different widths and Oh, here's um, an old game piece. It'll create really great solid circles. This straw that I have, it creates really small circles. It's very cool in contrast to the other stuff. Here's a double ring. It's just a piece of plastic. Here's another button, and it's a circle. It's a solid circle, except it has lines through it. And again, I just threaded some wire through that to turn it into a handle piece. And here's my palette. I like to use recycled plastic and for my palette. And here I'm just putting down some golden fluid acrylic with a little bit of um, airbrush medium in it to thin it out. And then here, so now I'm mark making. And this is all you do. You just make marks with found objects. And you can make marks in anything. You can make marks in with acrylics, um, which is what I'm using. You could do oils, though I, we've talked about this, like oils tend to never, tend to stay wet a really long time. Um, it, you know, and it's really just what you're going for. And I tend to make marks in black and white on top of bright color as a contrast. Here's that lined button I was telling you. It's a solid circle, but they're, they're lines, kind of almost like cross hatching, but there's no hatching the other way. Here's the the kind of fatter or chunkier circle from the button or from the bead. And you can see, depending of course on what you're using, sometimes the inside, there we go. The paint, it's like bubbles. The paint stretches across the opening if the opening is too small. And here, this is a little cap to a bottle and it's got some kind of starburst edge to it, almost like a gear, it's very cool. And really this is all mark making is, just finding different different shapes and different patterns that can be made over and over using some found tools and objects. And really, it's all just a bunch of junk and I don't want I don't want to throw any of it out. And you can see there's tons more in there too. I do share my mark makers with my girls at art journaling. So, um, I've been trying to amass quite a few, and I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. 
Now those were all pieces that make round marks, but I also have a section um, of others. So it's they'll make thin lines and different different uh, shapes and different patterns, and I'll kind of go through those and so show you some tips out of those as well. Uh, that part, that is a cast keyhole. Here's a sponge. These really wide sponges are great for, for small kind of um, gravelly looking texture, I should say. This is a heat sink that came out of a circuit board out of a computer. And um, it'll make really great repetitive lines. Here's the keyhole. Oh, I will show you the keyhole in a minute. This is actually for um, embossing stencils. And these, I picked these up at the kids' craft section in Walmart. So those make some really great mark-making tools. And here, this is a piece of chipboard from Unwell Studio. And that one was the grid one. And here's a chunky chevron. And those make great great mark making tools. Mark making is similar to stamping. It just instead is more pattern based or or mark based rather than images. There's a belt buckle. Here's a plastic fork, which will make great uh, marks. This is a Pillsbury um, like spatula that I got at the dollar store. And here is an old button. It's a square button and it makes a really cool mark. I And I really love the square button repetitive. I'm going to put some more golden fluid acrylic down so that you can see that's in carbon black and I'll make a few here's the the square watch when it repeats it's really cool isn't that great what a cool mark to make and this this is just corrugated cardboard and everybody has this and if you don't just pick up a piece of your cardboard box and take off a layer And that is a keyhole that I had, and I just molded it and then cast it in resin so I could also use it as a mark maker. And that's it. Just a really quick intro to mark making. Any objects that you have laying around that you can get and find, um, and hold on to, you know, just put them in a bucket. And then anytime you need some cool patterns or texture in your art journaling, in addition to stamps and stencils, this is, this is a really great tool to have in your tool belt. All right, and we do lots of this mark making in our art journaling class. So if you're interested, please visit my webpage, ddkatrin.com, and um, you know purchase purchase your access to the videos, and we'll get the passwords emailed out to you asap, and you can see exactly how you can use these mark making tools. Thanks so much.